Hey everyone, welcome back to the grind. Right, we're playing as white today. Let's see what we can do. Usual opening here. No surprises. Shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone at this point, I suppose. <laughs> One day I'll mix it up, but that day is not today. Going for the trade. I definitely don't like going for the bishop trade, the dark square bishop trade, and I don't like playing with the open h file, so I don't really want to run it back to g3. But... I do always have this idea of like going bishop e5 and then trading off this way and then planting the pawn on e5 it's kind of a i don't know i never know if that's the best idea or not i, I don't like bishop g3 um i know the engine recommends it and everything but uh i, I personally just don't like it it's just me Just a personal preference. I think, from what I remember, the engine says trading off on d6 is like slightly better for black. But. Just go for the castle as well here. Just protect B4. I was hoping he wouldn't play that. <laughs> I was kind of hoping to plant my knight there. I was hoping to plant my knight there so I could fork these two uh, after the pawn recaptures. Uh, I think that would have been kind of a cool play. Um, I kind of have to take here because uh, if I don't, he pushes up and he gets the fork. So I'm debating if I should take with a knight here, take with a pawn. I don't think it matters which order I take in, right? Yeah, I don't believe the order here matters. Or do I take with a pawn? I don't think it matters. If I don't take, I'm getting forked unless I push the bishop back to like c2 or something. I don't really want to initiate the trade, but I think it sort of kind of has to be done here.
I'm kind of expecting his knight to come out to g4 next. So I kind of want to push h3 just to prevent that. Just an idea. Like, preferably, I'd like to play rook e1 here. But I think he's going to try to jump the knight to g4. So I kind of want to play h3. I don't know if it matters or not that his bishop is... His bishop can go to h3 at some point. I guess I could act attack the queen with f4 too. Seems like kind of a risky move though. Uh, I think I'll just play h3 just to defend g4. The one and only reason. Mm -hmm. Could play queen f3 here. Protect h3. He's setting up for... Uh, to capture this pawn and pin this way. I think f4 was actually like not a bad idea there on f4. Well, no, that hangs the e3 pawn, never mind. Um, it seems like the only thing I can really do here is queen f3 to protect h3. What's it going to be? I felt like his pawn e5 move was pretty good. I think his early bishop d6 was also pretty good. Uh, so kind of what I'm expecting here is he's going to move to e5 and try to fork these two pieces, specifically the queen. I kind of want to offer the queen trade here. I'm definitely expecting knight e5 next. It's, it's just very obvious. Is there any way that I can prevent that? I don't think there is. I guess if he goes knight e5, I can take the pawn on d5. I think I could win a pawn, yeah, if he goes knight e5. If he goes knight e5, he basically blocks, um, he removes any protection that the d5 pawn has from the queen. Um, and then he'll take the bishop, but I can just take back. So, I think I'll just develop a piece here. Fully expecting knight e5. I think that's the only reason why he would have jumped back there. I 
I doubt he's going to go anything like c4. Yeah, so I was fully expecting that. We called that. Now if he takes the bishop, his knight is basically pinned. So... You guys get a lot of spam calls? I think everyone just gets like spam calls these days. I feel like I get an insane amount. I think I get like 10 or 12 every single day. I've basically just stopped responding to phone numbers that I don't recognize. I think everyone's in that same boat these days. Oh, oh, that was actually a really good move. Oh, I totally ignored that. Totally ignored that. I suppose I can protect with the bishop here. Bishop e4 saves the day. I oh, know, actually my queen's protecting here. So if he takes, yeah, if he takes with the queen, I'm actually just going to take as well. Then I think we're in pretty good hands. Also, I could just take this pawn too. I think taking this pawn is kind of dumb though. Because all it really does is... Um, it unpins the knight. And I think the pin on the knight is more valuable. But yeah, he's, he'll probably play g2 next. Uh, I'm really tempted to play... Knight e4. I think 90, 94 is bad because it removes uh, g2 from the queen. Um, so I almost think bishop e4 is like a little bit better. But I don't know, I'm still debating. I'm also kind of thinking about knight c4. I'm actually just going to go knight c4. Actually, no, I kind of blundered this. Because he wins the bishop. Um, No, yeah, I, I kind of blundered this. He he can win the... Or no, he can't win the bishop, right? Because I take the queen. His knight is pinned. I need to keep remembering that. And if he comes in with his queen, um, I'm basically trading a pawn for a bishop. So we're PPing on the PP. I also do just have a sick fork here with F4. Maybe that was the move, actually. Hmm. I think actually pawn F4 was the move. Kind of hangs a pawn, but maybe that's okay. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Essentially pins my Hmm. Yeah, if I take the knight I should have I should have seen this coming. That's kind of a stupid move.
I'm losing that bishop, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah, I think I misplayed this. Yeah, I mean, I misplayed this a little bit. Pawn F4. I basically just can't remove a defender from G2. That's That's the main thing right now. Probably just take the knight, right? Really debating between pawn f4. I'm trying to get into the habit of not being a peace dragger, but I just want to look at this. Uh, I think I'll just take the knight. Do I want to go for the fork? Take the knight or go for the fork. <clears throat> I'm doing it. I don't know why, but I, for some reason, just think this is better. I might lose a pawn or something in the process. I might hang my knight. But... For some reason, I just feel like this is better. I don't know. Guess we'll find out. I thought his rook d8 was a really good move. I should have known better. The thing that I like about f4 is that it lets me play rook f2 and just add another defender to g2 here. And then it kind of frees up my queen to go do other things. Interesting. I only have one defender on this pawn, so I think he's going to try to take with the rook here. 
So I kind of want to leave the knight in place here. Hmm. I think I have to go like rookie one here. No, because the knight's defending here, so I basically just have to take this knight out. Now I have two defenders on this pawn. Yeah, I think this is good. If he attacks my queen with the rook, I can just take back with his knight. And then it also kind of just protects g2. I think it's okay. This poor pawn is just sweating bullets. Don't worry, bud. We'll get you out of this mess. Mm hmm That's a nice move. Kind of want to offer the queen trade here at this point. But it's going to be losing a knight. That's actually a really good move because as soon as I move my knight here... Oh, wait. I do... No, I, I can't... This rook... Taking the rook is a trap here. Yeah, because as soon as I move my knight, he's going to take this pawn. And then I'll be forced to move my rook somewhere. I think I may have to go play something. No, I see, I can't even attack the rook here. Um, I think boom, boom, boom. Boom, I think I'm losing this knight no matter what. It kind of sucks. This is a really strong move. I think I have to lose the knight here, right? Yeah, I think I have to lose the knight. I think going to a3 is a trap. Going to d2 is a trap. I think I'm just going to offer the trade and lose the knight here. Yeah. I want to recapture with the rook, so I'm at least attacking the bishop. I want to recapture on f3 with the rook. At the very least, I'm attacking the rook afterwards. But I still think he's doing better here. So... Best case scenario here, if he decides to run his queen back to not trade, I should be I should be winning. 
should be winning the bishop, I think. This knight placement's really unfortunate. We can just pre-move this, I guess. Yeah. If he takes the if he takes the knight, I take his bishop. So I think it comes out to be like an even trade at the end of the day. Um, and then I won't hang my pawn either. So he kind of has to decide like what's more valuable here, my knight or his bishop, I guess. He probably could just move his bishop over here and, yeah, like do like a double attack type of thing. Probably is a better bet for him. So obviously we have to save the rook, but either way, um, I can still attack his bishop here. I wonder where I would rather put it. Here and kind of protect both or here and still defend the pawn. I think I'd rather go g3. Attacks his rook and it protects this pawn. Yeah, I think I can finally get my knight out. I'm really surprised we came out even after all that. That's that's pretty funny. <laughs> to tell you the truth, his pawn's under attack here. He defends. I'd like to start rerouting my knight and getting it into a better spot. But... I need to protect this pawn too. I don't want to go c2 because he basically just attacks this way and then I don't have a great way of defending it. I'm kind of tempted to start bringing the king out to tell you, to tell you the truth. Now if I do that I just lose a pawn. Now, this is really awkward placement. Hmm. I don't know if this is the move. We'll see. Oh, that just hung upon. Whoops. Oh, man. This was a really bad move. That was a very, very, very bad move. Anywhere I go is basically just horrible at this point. Uh, yeah, I blundered that really bad. 
I did not realize that that was gonna hang that pawn. It's like super my bad. Hmm, I can't save this knight. If I go b1, he gives me check. Well, maybe that's okay. Yeah, hanging that pawn was really bad. Uh, I think I have to go b1 for now. Man, this is starting to be pretty bad. Hmm. I was putting too much energy in trying to protect a2 from the bishop here. I saw that. I think he should take the pawn, honestly. Because if I take the pawn, I'm... I lose the... I lose the rook. So I think he should just take the pawn. Yeah, I think I've kind of misplayed this really bad. He can essentially go attack the knight with his bishop here on a2, and there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, because the knight's pinned here, so... Hmm. A bit rough. Still hasn't moved his other rook. Um, Saw that coming. Probably take this pawn now. Oh, no, I'm actually defended here. This knight is the bane of my existence. Oh boy. Oh no, I did not see that coming. Ah, uh, you know, I'm getting owned. 
Unfortunate, man. Unfortunate. Wrecked. <laughs> oh, boy. Damn, that was a really good move. Yeah, what are you going to do? Interesting move. Could try to run the pawn up the board still. Mm hmm. Mm. <clears throat> It'd be a miracle if I find a comeback here. Interesting. Um, wish me luck. <laughs> He's probably going to put his rook over here. I guess if he puts his rook up, I do still have a chance of promoting. This king's kind of cut off. He can check me. I can take with the pawn. I know I lose the pawn, but I don't know. I had to do something there. Oh, I'm hanging stuff left and right. Should have noticed that. That was a blunder. That was a blunder. It's 
pretty GG. But yeah, how do we? How do we win here? I don't think we do. Let me check me here. I imagine. Ah, oh, rough game. Rough game, rough game, rough game. <laughs> I tried. The knight over here on C4, man, it was just so hard to come back from that. After the knight on C4, it was... It was very difficult. Oops, kind of actually didn't mean to do that. Saw that coming. I think he has to move his king up. I could go sack the rook, just run the pawn up the board. <laughs> eh. Rough. No, I can't sack the rook. Yeah, tough one. Yeah, his king is basically just going to go protect that, I guess. Yeah, GG. I don't think he's going to play stalemate, just judging by the way he's been playing. But you never know. I'll probably just sack the pawn at this point.
Yeah, cool. I'll give him the GG. Well, GG. That was a good one. I definitely got outplayed. Let's go check out the stats there. 67 to 68. Moving the knight out here was a big blunder. You were losing a bishop this way. F4. Looks like I was almost on the right idea with this early F4. Um, yeah. Looks like I almost had it. Bishop takes the bishop sack. <laughs> I never would have seen the bishop sack here. But, um, yeah, lots of questionable moves here. I thought taking this pawn was going to be a really good idea. And then, yeah, once this knight came out, a knight came out to c4, it was all just kind of over from there. I totally ignored that he could just attack my queen with the rook, and then my uh, bishop was going to be hanging at that point. Um, and the pawn too, or excuse me, the knight too. But um, yeah, no, GG. Uh, he played really well, so what can I say? But thanks guys for watching, and see you in the next one.